I was born on the 28th of November, 1995, to a pair of missionaries going through language school in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I went on to spend the next 18 years of my life on the mission field, before graduating, moving to the States, getting a degree, marrying my also a missionary kid wife, and heading immediately back overseas to serve as missionaries ourselves, first in the Philippines and now in Belgium. Missions, and more specifically, Assemblies of God World Missions, has been a part of my life literally since birth. Understanding the goals and processes of this organization has been like second nature to me. However, I'm well aware that there aren't that they aren't necessarily as clear to everyone else. Today, I'll be clarifying what this organization is, why it exists, and what it does. By doing this, I hope you will gain a deeper understanding of how important the work that the Assemblies of God World Missions does around the world is. I've witnessed this work up close, and if I can help you see even a sliver of what I have had the privilege to, I know that this lecture will have been a success. So, Assemblies of God World Missions, or AGWM, as I'll be referring to them for the rest of the video, is the missions wing of the Assemblies of God. The organization can trace its beginning all the way back to the first General Council, when the Assemblies of God itself was formed. In fact, John W. Welch, the Assemblies of God superintendent from 1915 to 1919 and 1923 to 1925, is quoted as saying, The General Council of the Assemblies of God was never meant to be an institution. It is just a missionary agency. AGWM has always followed the teaching of Jesus to go into all the world and preach the gospel. The results have been astounding. Over the last 109 years that the organization has been active, the gospel message has spread far and wide. Today, AGWM partners with 370,000 churches worldwide and almost 54 million adherents. The latest statistics show that every 54 seconds somewhere in the world a person comes to Christ and every 81 minutes a church is planted due to the work of AGWM missionaries. However, even with all of that success, there is still so much to do. Of the 17,446 people groups in the world, 7,391 remain unreached. That's 42% of the world's population that is never heard of, and unless someone goes, will never hear the gospel. Three billion people. The why of AGWM's existence lies within those numbers. While there are still so many in the world who have not heard the gospel, it is vital that we go. However, even still, there are plenty of people who live within people groups that have technically been reached but are still far from Jesus. AGWM helps those who feel called to go to these people. Now, as important as it is to know the what and the why of the mission, it is equally as important to know the what. I wouldn't ask you to support any organization if you didn't know what they would be doing once they actually reached the people they were called to serve. To answer this question, we'll be looking at the mission strategies of AGWM to see what guidelines they follow to achieve the work they've been called to do. Reaching. First and foremost, in the AGWM strategies is to proclaim the gospel to those who have not heard. As mentioned previously, a large number of the world's population lives without Jesus. So, AGWM strives to reach them with this good news, using whatever means necessary. Planting. From the beginning, AGWM has worked to plant healthy local churches within the peoples they witness to. The goal is always to create a church that is self-supporting, self-propagating, and self-governing. This philosophy can largely be attributed to a British missionary by the name of Alice Luce, who worked among the Hispanic populations of North America. AGWM believes in creating churches that operate, operate within the culture that they are planted, and not churches that are ruled from afar by a, a distant governing body. Training. AGWM believes in training those who are called to serve as pastors, evangelists, teachers, and missionaries. This applies both for those who serve within the organization and those who are members of the indigenous churches being served. The goal is always to train and equip leaders to serve effectively within the communities to which they are called. Serving. 
Compassion forms an important part of AGWM's mission. Jesus called for us to care for the orphans and the widows, and AGWM endeavors to do so as much as possible. AGWM endeavors to, in to integrate compassion ministry with the sharing of the gospel. There are few better ways to communicate the love of God than to meet someone's physical needs with love and compassion. Thank you for following this lecture. I hope this lecture has clarified the who, what, and why of Assemblies of God World Missions. It has been a pleasure to share on this topic. I hope you have a blessed day.